Hi, I'm Dr. Elsie Cook. Welcome to my channel on Mission with Elsie. Today I want to share with you from 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. It reads, For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. You have done a foolish thing, and from now on, you will be at war. This passage was declared by the prophet Hanani to Asa, king of Judah, to address his unwise decision with regards to her enemy nation, Aram. Aram, headed by Ben-Hadad, was in alliance with Israel, which was ruled by Basha. With his ally, Ben-Hadad, Basha went against Judah. In the face of his enemy, Asa, king of Judah, did not trust the Lord. Instead, he entreated Ben-Hadad, king of Aram, to break alliance with Israel. Asa entered a treaty with Ben-Hadad, king of Aram, by giving Ben-Hadad silver, gold, and treasures from the temple of God. The Arameans were a people that both Israel and Judah were to treat as enemies. In fact, they were a perennial thorn on both Israel and Judah's side. God's will was to completely deliver both Israel and Judah from constantly being bullied by the Arameans. By trusting the Arameans instead of trusting God to help him fight his enemies, Asa, king of Judah, missed the opportunity to gain complete victory over his enemies. Asa's decision also opened the door to renewed and ongoing troubles with surrounding enemy nations. God sent the prophet Hanani to Asa to let him know this. Second Chronicles 16.9 contains both a word of encouragement and rebuke for Asa. In the passage, Hanani declared, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. You have done a foolish thing, and from now on, you will be at war. Unlike Judah, we may not have enemy nations, but spiritually, we do have enemies. We battle against our flesh and against sins in our lives. Deliverance from sin and fleshly desires that buffets or tortures us is possible if we fully commit our hearts to the Lord. Asa missed the opportunity to completely destroy his enemies because he was not fully committed to the Lord. This was evident in his decision to trade the treasures in God's temple for the service of the Aramean army. Are you struggling with sin? Do you want to be free from it? I encourage you to stop giving into it. Instead, fully commit your heart to the Lord. The Bible says that God is looking and will strengthen your heart if you fully commit to him. To fully commit your heart to the Lord means to abandon loyalties that compete with the rule of God in your life. It means to completely cut off from the very things that causes you to stray away from God. The Bible says that you are the temple of God. Therefore, to fully commit yourself to God means to consecrate yourself, your body, your time, your talents, everything about you for God's use and purpose. Do yourself a favor. Break free from the bondage of sin. Commit your heart fully to the Lord. When you do, 
God will strengthen you and give you victory over the very thing that you struggle with. Thank you for watching. God bless you.